All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to skin a coyote. Now, it was uh, requested in the comments, so I'm gonna skin a coyote for you guys and kind of talk you guys how I go through things. First of all, I got it hung up. I got a winch. It's hanging up on the winch. That's how I start my coyotes. I start them hanging. So you're gonna come right in here to the foot, right where the Achilles meets this leg bone right here. You're gonna go in and you're gonna cut and you're going to follow this color line of the hair, if you can see that. You're going to follow this color line of the white and the brown or whatever kind of colored coyotes you got. I got eastern coyotes here, so not going to go for as much as those westerns, but they're still worth a lot more money than the coons I'm putting up anyways. And you're going to come, you're going to follow this, and you're going to bring it right through. This is a female. You can see her female parts here. You're going to bring it right between her female parts and her anus. You're gonna come right there. You can see there's her butt and then there's there's her female parts. Then you're gonna come here. You're gonna follow this color line all the way up to this coyote's other heel. If I can get it to cut here, my knife's kind of dull. You're gonna Follow this, you're gonna go come where the Achilles is here. Come up, follow the color, and then there you go. So from there, you're gonna grab, peel this back a little bit. And guys, I'm not the fastest coyote skinner by any means. I haven't put up that many. If you guys wanna see some good coyote skinners or whatever, you can find plenty of videos on them. Yeah, I'm just gonna peel back this hair here. So you can kind of, you peel it back until you can get it, get it to where you can get underneath this leg. And then I'll grab that skin, fold it back. I just grab, I use a screwdriver. It's just what works for me. And I stick it through, through that fat right there. You can see that. And I grab this, I pull it down the foot. And that'll lose, it'll make a little area in here, right there. You can just stick your hand through. Then you can take your knife, cut down, cut a little bit of the top of the foot off. Just You can cut it off later, there's no reason to just get rid of it. Then you just work it down. I caught this coyote this morning, it's still a little warm. <sighs> just peeling it down. All right. So I got this leg for the most part all the way down. So now I'm gonna switch, switch the feet. I'm just using a little choker chain here, guys. Switch it. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. I'm gonna just peel it back as much as you can so you can get that screwdriver or whatever you wanna use. And it's kind of whatever works for you guys, honestly. You can just, if you got a little piece of rebar or something, shove that in there, it'll work. You just gotta make that little pocket in there so you can cut that leg off, and then after that, it's a piece of cake, really. You can see there, I can grab it, fold it back, grab my screwdriver, stick it through there. Don't put a hole in the pelt. You'll be able to know, usually just on feel, whether you're penetrating the pelt or not. Pull, create my little gap. Stick my knife through there, cut it, and then it's off that foot now. As you can see, I just take a little bit off the top of the foot there. You can cut it off later when you're boarding it or putting it on wire. I put my canine on wire. Yeah, then I just peel it back. And coyotes are tough to skin, guys. I mean, they're not like a coon. I can do a coon in like two and a half minutes, three minutes. But I've also caught like a lot of them, so I'm gonna just switch my coyote over. My little camera thing I got here. So I can get it on both feet. It's just easier. It's easier for coyotes if you spread their legs out more. It allows it to be easier for you to work that uh, that tail off of there, and then you can uh, cut that flap off around the crotch, and then start pulling it with the with the winch. Oh, 
I'm just going to wrap these chains around its feet here. I'm going to go as high up on here as I can, above where I cut it off at. I'll show you guys here in a sec. Once I get this baby ready to go. Okay. So, as you guys can see, I got these chains down as far as I can. That's just because I don't have very high ceilings and I got to have it up there so I'll be able to pull it all out with the winch. And then I'm just going to work this coyote down. And then, once you get it down far enough, hopefully I don't mess this up for you guys. Again, I'm going slow. Normally I'll just it won't take me very long to do these, but I'm trying to kind of teach you guys as I go here. And this is the first critter I've ever skinned on camera, so I'm kind of just going it at a slow pace here, making sure you guys can get everything out because I learned how to skin coyotes off of YouTube too. You know, I know you guys are just starting out. I know how you guys feel. So then you're gonna go to the tail right here, just above the anus. You're gonna make a cut, about a three inch cut from here down to the anus where the anus skin starts. Then you're gonna veer up this way and veer up this way, almost like a little triangle. So I'll make that cut now with my knife sharp enough. There we go. I'm gonna veer up this way, cut that. Then I'm gonna come back to my initial cut go back around the anus the other way. You don't want that anus on your coyotes, guys. It's just, for one, it's definitely not helping the value of your coyote. And two, it's just convenient for tail pulling and stuff if you got it off of there. You just cut this down just a little bit. You gotta be careful with your knives on coyotes. I usually like to skin coyotes with a slightly dull knife just because it's easy to cut them. In my opinion, I've, I've put holes in a couple of them and really, really make a guy mad. So, looks like I didn't get clean through here, so I'll just cut that little piece off. Okay. So now, I'm going to work on this crotch area. I'm just going to grab this and pull. You guys see how I'm doing this? You got leg here, leg here. You just kind of grab this flap and just pull it down. Then once you kind of get it down there, you can see your female parts coming right there. Kind of just stick your hands in behind this flap here, if you can get them through. And then you're going to see, I got a little opening right there, if you guys can see that. You don't need your female parts or that fur on there, you can just come here, cut it off. Then the belly's free. Then you'll be able to cut your window and everything else. But yeah, this is just going to get cut off in the boarding process anyways. So you might as well just cut it off now. So I'm going to keep working down my coyote here. And then, once you get it down to this far, you can see the tail. You can see the gap that's starting to form. You grab, I just got a little piece, metal bar here. You stick that up there, underneath that tail. I'm going to split the tail a little bit more here. I got my tail split already. I just like to split them down a little bit more. Makes it easier for the pulling process. I've popped off a few tails on coyotes before. You get, you get those big old coyotes and you'll pop a tail off here and there. It's just part of it. All right, so I got my tail split. Now I'm gonna pull down. So now I take my tail splitter, these are cheap. You can, not tail splitter, my bad. Tail puller, these are cheap. You buy them about anywhere. I buy most of my stuff off of for Harvester's Trading Post. You wrap that around the tail give it a good pull, then there's our tail. It's out of there. And then I always, I use a tail zipper. You can get these about anywhere too. Come in here, and then you just zip the tail, and then that's gonna dry good when we put it on the wire stretcher or the board. It doesn't matter what you're putting it on. Then we're just gonna work him down here. Work him down, or her, my bad. This is a female, like I've mentioned already. Then you. So once you got it this far, it's ready for the winch. But you're going to want to come to these front legs, you're going to want to cut them off. They're just, 
It's easier to get rid of them than to keep them on and try and cut them off. So I'm going to make an incision at the back of the leg, cut that, grab it, snap it. There you go. You can see I snapped that leg. And you just come in, there's a little bit of fur and ligaments and stuff. Just cut that off. There's one paw. Just throw that on the floor with all my other carcasses. Same thing to the other leg. Break it. Grab your knife. Finish it off. If my knife's sharp at all. There you go. There's two paws. So now you guys can see these front legs are going to pull off the second I try and pull them. So I'm going to wrap this around my winch here now. I just lower it down. I got a little lasso. You guys saw in my first shed tour, if you watched that video, how I do my skinning. I got a little lasso on the floor that I kind of just wrap around the fur. So I wrap that around about the hind quarter area of it. Pull it up. Now I'm going to winch them up. Okay, and you guys are going to see how this kind of formed here. You're going to want to grab that belly and pull it over those ribs, otherwise you're going to have a mess. I might have to loosen them up a little. You want to pull that over those ribs, otherwise you're either going to rip your hide or destroy your coyote or something. Okay, should be ready to pull. I'll get right back to you guys in a second. Okay, so I got my winch fixed. That happens sometimes with the safety measure. I got a thing where it'll lock itself up and it won't be able to lift up just because the safety measure strip. So I can't basically destroy my winch. So I'm gonna go down here. You guys probably can't see this, but filming on a phone, it's kind of hard to fill. I'm just gonna grab this lasso that I got and I'm gonna move it up the coyote. Not up the actual coyote, but up the hide, so I can pull it better. And I'm going to pull, up and down. Like I said, guys, I got a really low ceiling, so coyotes are kind of a pain for me. Especially the big ones. This is a good sized female here. out again so once you get to these legs here again rebar really handy tool I'm just gonna stick that up in there if I can oh no I might have to get her pulled up a little bit higher here yep I'm gonna need to pull her up a little bit higher again skinning larger animals with the inconvenience of a higher ceiling it's just, it just, it's time consuming guys. It's, it is what it is. There's nothing I can really do about it. Okay, got that adjusted. This should be good. Oh, and I tripped my thing again. I'm gonna show you guys how I fix this. I just grab my little board here. Go up in here. Pry it off. If I can. Should be good. Good to go. So, let me get this rope tight. All right, so the legs should be free, or ready to pull anyways. I stick my rod up in there, you guys can see that. Got it up in there, pull down, pull out. Same thing on the other leg, go in there, go down, pull out. Then you can just grab these legs, pull them out, and it's free. Just like that. So when it comes to the heads, guys, I kind of just like to just give it a good old tug. I'm probably going to have to adjust my camera here. Give a good tug. I'm just going to adjust this now. Let's see. Right, guys, over there. Give it a good pull until those ears pop. 
you guys can see, here's my ears right here. You can see the cartilage. I'm just gonna go in, cut my ears. Again, sharper knife would help with this. I'm just trying not to cut a hole in my coyote. Then you're gonna pull again and get that whole ear off there. And then you just skin down, skin down, find the eyeballs. Eyeballs are right here. I'm gonna make a cut towards the top of the eyeball. Cut that one kind of big, but that's okay. Cut the mouth. Cut the eye. Oh man, that is ugly. Figured I'd screw it up for you guys, but that's all right. They don't look at the face for these things anyways. If my knife had any sharpness to it at all. I'd be able to cut that. Grab it, pull. These coyotes are tough right around this nose area. You just got to slice. It's tough on your knife. Don't use an expensive knife for skinning out a coyote's face, guys. It's just a lot of bone, a lot of cutting. Pull again. Skinning around that nose. This bottom lift's the, the hardest part to pull. I just go underneath there, cut that off. It comes off in the boarding process anyways. You just cut it off. See, my bottom lip's free, and grab it, pull. There's my nose, cut the nose off. There we go. There's a skin coyote. I'm gonna take it off here. You guys can see, I shot this coyote in the head. I shoot all my coyotes in the head. They bleed all over the place, but I feel like it's a quicker, most painless death that you can give them. And uh, you guys see that eyeball, I screwed it up pretty bad. That's okay, I just believe it's a quicker death. And most people say, oh, you're getting blood everywhere. I'm washing them all anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna turn it inside, or right side out, excuse me, for you guys to see. Here we go. There's a skin coyote right there. You can see it's got blood on it, that's from my gloves. It wasn't, there was no blood on it before, but you can see it's a pretty nice coyote. It's got a little bit of a little bit of pink in the belly. That's not blood there, that's pink, but I don't see any mange, so should be good to go. So, oh let me get this coyote out of the way. So, if you guys want to see anything else, comment down below. I'll show you guys whatever you want to see. I can skin just about anything. Like I said, might not be the fastest, but I can skin about everything. I don't skin a whole lot of coyotes. I think that's my fourth or fifth one this year. I'm not sure, but I still do skin them. I know how to skin them and they're worth good money now. So most people want to know they're joining the old coyote craze because they're the only thing basically worth anything or worth your time anymore. So. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, just comment them down below. If you guys want to see anything else, just comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.